At Children's Hospital, the medicine is state of the art, and the art is a form of medicine. This trio of local musicians may be more used to the club scene, but it turns out the sixth floor atrium at Children's is a favorite place to play. Sometimes you think your life is a little tough, just come and visit the kids here and see how blessed we are. A lot of times I hear from the parents that that's the most that I've seen my child smile all week. Up to 10 times a month, the Sunny Pugar Memorial pays local musicians to play for patients and their families at area hospitals. Children's Hospital added painting. It's called the Music Smiles program and for good reason. So listen, I mean, as soon as you hear it, you smile. Annie I Pugar started the nonprofit to honor her late husband, drummer Sonny Pugar, who died of cancer. She sees firsthand how music helps heal. Like Billy Joel says, forget about life for a while. And when that happens, there are chemical changes in the body. And that provides some optimism and hope, and it becomes part of the healing process. Music therapist Nicole Steele says research shows music can calm heart rates and respiration. I see a child who's nervous and who's anxious, and they're scared, and they're able to now play through that. They're able to, they're able to have a little bit more fun. Local rock legend Joey Granati is a Pugar board member. Any Pugar could have got bitter when her husband died. She got better. She took a tragedy and turned it into something beautiful to where she's actually helping people that were sick like her husband was. It feels good to know that we've, we've brightened their day with the music. These are some of the most rewarding performances I've ever done, hands down. At Children's in Lawrenceville, surrounded by music and smiles. Peggy Finnegan, Channel 11 News.